O oh Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you, be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty cannot do anything, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by your resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Must I go on boasting, though there is nothing to be gained by it? But I will move on to the visions and revelations I have had from the Lord. I know a man in Christ who, 14 years ago, was caught up. Whether still in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows, right into the third heaven. I do know, however, that this same person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things which must not and cannot be put into human language. I will boast about a man like that, but not about anything of my own, except my weaknesses. If I should decide to boast, I should not be made to look foolish, because I should only be speaking the truth. But I am not going to, in case anybody should begin to think I am better than he can actually see and hear me to be. In view of the extraordinary nature of these revelations, to stop me from getting too proud, I was given a thorn in the flesh, an angel of Satan, to beat me and stop me from getting too proud. About this thing, I have pleaded with the Lord three times for it to leave me. But he has said, My grace is enough for you, my power is at its best in weakness. So I shall be very happy to make my weaknesses my special boast, so that the power of Christ may stay over me, and that is why I am quite content with my weaknesses and with insults, hardships, persecutions, and the agonies I go through for Christ's sake. For it is when I am weak that I am strong. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, 
Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Come, children, and hear me, that I may teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is he who longs for life and many days to enjoy his prosperity? Taste and see that the Lord is good. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Man does not live in bread alone, but in every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave of both of God and money. That is why I am telling you not to worry about your life and what you are to eat, nor about your body and how you are to clothe it. Surely life means more than food, and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap, or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they are? Can any of you, for all his worrying, add one single cubit to his span of life? And why worry about clothing? Think of the flowers growing in the fields. They never have to work or spin. Yet I assure you that not even Solomon in all his regalia was robed like one of these. Now if that is how God clothes the grass in the field, which is there today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, will he not much more look after you, you men of little faith? So do not worry. Do not say, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? How are we to be clothed? It is the pagans who set their hearts on all these things. Your heavenly Father knows your need them all. Set your hearts on his kingdom first and on his righteousness, and all these other things will be given you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in our daily life, we constantly face with choices. Today, Jesus placed before us two such choices, God and wealth. He says, no one can serve two masters. In other words, we would not be able to do justice to two masters, God and wealth. He is inviting us not to worry about what we'll eat or drink, for the Heavenly Father take care of us. But this calls for responsibility on our part too. We need to remain faithful to God always. The Lord promised Saint Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, today he tells me not to worry about life or about what to eat or wear, but only focus on the God-given life. Of course, life means more than food, body more than clothing, but I need to know that my life is from God and the priority must be to be focused on God. That is very important in our life. My life does not belong to the material things, but to God. As I live in the society, I try to develop my family status and compare and com compete with others as to who is great in society 
and many times forgot my relationship with God. But Jesus gives example of birds who neither sow nor reap, but God takes care of them. Worries and anxieties are not going to make a difference, but only with faith in God, we can make a difference in life. God will provide what I need because God has been merciful and providing for all from the beginning of the world. There will be problems, good and bad events, but it is my responsibility to accept and focus on the will of God. So today Jesus invites me to have a strong faith in him and trust in him by reminding that my life is for God. So make a personal choice for his grace. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food, and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures save you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed he comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant him peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. There is one thing I ask of the Lord only this do I seek to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life let us pray as this reception of your holy communion o lord foreshadows the union of the faithful in you so may it bring about my unity in your church through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you May almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. go for the masses entered <laughs>